largest 4K screen here at the CES show, and this year you have the world's smallest. That's right. What we've got is 8 million pixels mm -hmm. in a screen that's 20 inches diagonal. And you can see the crispness is so clear, it almost looks like 3D. It does, and we were over actually at Samsung's booth and they were actually showing the 3D OLED mm. screens as well, and I didn't even think that was possible with how thin they are. And you have these ones which are, are, are thin as well. So much technology is being packed into these little slim screens. It's amazing, isn't it? This is only, I think, three or four millimeters thick, and it's four times the definition of high definition that you saw at somebody else's booth. Do you think these would take off quicker? You'll see greater adoption of these or faster adoption of these versus 3D? No, I think, I think 3D is here to stay. What I think you'll see is before OLED, you'll see 4K. And what we'll see in 4K, 4K will help us create a 3D television that you don't need glasses for. How so? How well, does that work? One of the reasons you have to wear glasses for 3D is to maintain the clarity. If you put a polarizing lens, which what some people do, it cuts the definition in half. And it kind of isn't such an exciting picture anymore. But if you can increase the clarity or the definition before it gets there, then you don't have to put a filter on it. So once this becomes, it's not commercially viable yet, it's rather expensive. But I would say in the next couple of years, 4K is going to lead us into a world of 3D with no glasses. Oh, that's interesting. So 4K is that secret sauce to that's mass 3D sauce. adoption. That's right. What about the 8K? The 8K. The 8K. Oh, the 8K. Well, you know what? Let us get 4K first, then we'll go to 8K, and then maybe 24K after that. I know, that. but Sharp beat you to the punch here with the uh, prototype. You know, it's easy to show <laughs> prototypes. It's something right. different to show an actual version. So four years ago, we showed 4K. So it's not a new technology for us. We're pretty close to being able to release this.